For most consumers, a preventive maintenance program for their vehicle consists of nothing more than an oil change. We all know that oil lubricates the engine, but oil also has many other functions that are often overlooked. Not only does oil lubricate as a means of controlling friction, but it also controls contamination, temperature, corrosion, shock, wear, and pressure. To truly understand how an oil is holding up and its effect on the engine, a frequent oil analysis should be performed to put a set of eyes on the engine's condition and the condition of the oil as to when it should be changed. Today's oil analysis programs use state-of-the-art equipment and techniques to provide valuable information that will help maintain the engine. I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder, and today we're talking about the eight things your diesel oil is trying to tell you, right here in the Amsoil garage. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. There are a few important factors that determine the condition of oil and its service life, and the first one is viscosity. Viscosity is a measurement of resistance to flow at a specific temperature in relation to time. In oil analysis, the used oil's viscosity is compared to that of a new oil's viscosity to determine whether excessive thinning or thickening has occurred. High viscosity could indicate contamination of soot, incomplete combustion, leaking head gaskets, or high operating temperature. Low viscosity could indicate fuel dilution, oil shear, or the use of wrong oil. The effects of high or low viscosity oil result in engine overheating, poor lubrication, restricted oil flow, metal-to-metal -metal contact, and harmful deposits. If the viscosity is wrong, make sure the proper oil grade is being used and determine if there are any leaks in the head gaskets or injectors. Second is water or coolant contamination. Water condensation should be evaporated by the engine when operating at normal temperatures. If not, the engine may not be reaching operating temperature, causing contamination, or there are internal leaks causing contamination. The effects of water contamination can lead to high viscosity, engine overheating, corrosion, poor lubrication, acid formation, and engine failure. Third is solids. This is a measurement of all solid-like substances found in the oil. For diesel engines, fuel soot is the primary substance measured. A high concentration of solids can lead to filter clogging, engine deposits, sludge, and poor lubrication, resulting in a shortened engine life. We're halfway through with fuel dilution. Fuel dilution comes from unburned fuel during the combustion process, which creates oil thinning. This causes the oil to lose its film strength, which leads to abnormal wear on the engine's components and shortens the life of the oil. Number five is fuel soot. Fuel soot applies to carbon that is found in diesel engine oil. Fuel soot is a good indicator of the engine's combustion efficiency. Newer diesel engines have higher concentrations of fuel soot due to emissions regulations, placing an emphasis on particulate emissions. Trying to reduce particulate emissions in the exhaust creates more crankcase pressure, causing greater soot levels. High fuel soot levels will cause sludge, lacquer, a clogged filter, and poor engine performance. Sixth is oxidation. Oxidation occurs when oil and other components combine with oxygen to form harmful byproducts. Heat, pressure, and other materials accelerate the oxidation of the oil. Most oils contain additives that inhibit the oxidation process. The byproducts of oxidation are lacquer, corrosion, and thickening to a point the oil cannot lubricate. Oxidation usually occurs from overheating, blow-by, the use of the wrong oil, and not changing the oil. Seventh is nitration. Nitration is more common in alternative fuel engines such as natural gas or propane, but it can be highly acidic and can form deposits in oxidation. If the amount of nitration is high, check the integrity of the engine and the operating temperature as possible culprits. Lastly, rounding out the eight things your diesel oil is telling you, is total base number, or TBN. This number in a new oil represents a scale of the amount of additives in the oil that are capable of neutralizing the acid byproducts of combustion. For example, a new oil starts with a TBN of 10. While the oil lubricates the engine to the point of its service life, the TBN decreases as the additives neutralize the acids. TBN is an indicator of when the oil needs to be changed, 
As most diesel manufacturers recommend, oil should be drained when the TBN reaches one half or one third of its original value. Hopefully these factors will help you understand when to best change your diesel oil going forward. Thanks for joining us in the Amsoil Garage. I'm Greg Jones and we'll see you next time for more diesel tech tips.